What's up guys, Steel Frodo here, and I got up at about 5.30 this morning, at 6 o'clock-ish, to get ready for an all-star meeting, so I figured, why not make a vlog? What's up guys, Steel Frodo here, and uh, haven't done a vlog yet this week, and today's Sunday, so I guess this technically counts as the last opportunity that I would have to make a vlog, so I'm going to do it now. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just got off from an all-store meeting, or not all-store meeting, it was a sales meeting at my work, um, and without you know, divulging information of the company, I'm basically kicking ass as a salesperson, which is a bit of an ego booster, which I really love because I really like doing sales at this store. Um, but yeah, pretty much I'm only going to have about four hours after this. Not even four hours. What time is it? It's 10, was that 10.26 or something like that. So basically I'm going to have time to go home, throw this vlog together, I got a little couple other things and then I'm gonna work on I'm working on a new cover and uh, I've got to do the uh, drums for it and the acoustic guitar part for it and pretty much I'm gonna put Q&A Saturday again on the back burner because it's one of those things where I've done a bunch of other projects that I want to and need to get done and Q&A Saturday unfortunately is not on the top of that list because as odd as it seems because you think that answering questions would be nice and easy a lot of the times, curating the questions, making sure that I got it all right, and all that kind of stuff, while also doing all the other videos that I do, tends to be a bit of a pain in the ass and very time consuming. And as strange as it sounds, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of that done in four hours, uh, or less actually, because I'd have to go back into work for that. So I don't think that's going to be happening today. Also, I got a nice little, got a nice little lapel mic, which makes me happy because I was, uh, I can only take so much of the audio from what this camera picks up in the car because it sounds really bad. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the thing. Also, I have, uh, until I can find, until further notice, basically, until I can find a better video editor for, uh, for the iPad Pro, I have given up on editing on that iPad Pro. While I get it, iMovie did kind of get the job done. There are just way too many things that I've that I need to use, like in Final Cut, for example. There's way too many things that I need in Final Cut that iMovie can't provide. Like, um, I started this last week when I was, um, I started this last week when I was doing the downtown vlog, and uh, yeah, it was kind of a pain, and it got to a point where I was actually trying to overlay um, background audio. I was trying to, I guess it'd be underlay, but I was trying to, track some uh, background audio and drop the pitch and things like that. It just got to a point where I couldn't keyframe it, which meant that I couldn't mark a point to start and mark a point to end for volume lowering, and I couldn't take and uh, adjust when it faded in and when it faded out properly in iMovie. So it got to a point where I just gave up. I was like, I can't do this. I'm not going to do this. And then I just went back to my computer and edited it in one cut because iMovie's capable enough to make like a home movie off of the videos that you've built on your phone, or if you're an iPad photographer, which yes, that's a real thing, if you, if you do that exclusively, then yes, that would work just fine. iMovie's very capable. Good God, it was like we're trying to do it on my iPad, like, you know, trying to do it on my iPad as somebody who does it more or less professionally. I've done it professionally before working with Final Cut, working with Adobe Premiere, and there's just tools you're used to that are not there and probably never will be there. Now, if you guys do have any suggestions for, you know, anything uh, that would be a better video editor on the iPad Pro, if any of you guys have experience with that, let me know, because I, uh, I'm still doing my research, but I guess we'll see. So one other thing, I guess I can kind of make this a pseudo-update video, but I doubt it, because I'm going to have to make an update video anyway, because I don't know how, to, how many people are actually going to watch this vlog, or so many people watch my update videos, because a lot of people watch the update videos, not a lot of people watch the vlog, but essentially one of the other things that I'm going to have to uh, figure out next week, new shows, so I've already picked the new shows, so the update video will be coming out later, the vlog's coming out today. Uh, one of the things I'm going to have to figure out is um, 
how I'm going to work the schedule out is basically Monday I'm finishing up Spice and Wolf and I'm watching the movie for Psychopaths, which the movie for Psychopaths is going to be like one long run. So, <laughs> that's going to be something. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be one long run. Uh, probably, probably the last time I'll do a movie, at least for a while now. At least that's the hope, because I hate, I love watching the movies, and I hate editing and doing the reactions for the movies, because it's just so long, you have to keep energy up for so long to do that. Um, but I'm probably going to, you know, come back to it at some point. But anyway, after those, for you you guys who watch the vlog, you'll know this before anybody who watches the update videos, I will be doing interviews with Monster Girls, Je uh, Demi Chen Wa Katritai, or Katritai, or something like that, uh, interviews with Monster Girls, and then um, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maids is the other one that I'll be watching because I have seen enough GIFs of that, and uh, I watched the opening for it, and I'm actually going to be doing a drum cover of the opening, which I'm really, really excited to try because it seems like a lot of fun um haven't watched the opening for interviews with monster girls um that's the only thing that concerns me is i had trouble finding anything about that on youtube i found a bunch of like video links that i that i like avoided because i didn't want to get uh, i didn't want to get any spoilers but on the same hand i'm like is there an issue with uploading it everything that i can see seems to check all my boxes for being a safe show to watch, but I guess we'll find out um, when my channel gets taken down for the sixth time. Um, no, no, it's never going to come to that. At least I hope it won't come to that again. That's the idea um, with their new policy. But uh, but yeah, so uh, those are going to be the two new shows replacing Spice and Wolf and Psychopaths, and they will be in subbed. So everybody who you know, the dub haters are finally going to stop complaining. I, I poke fun. I don't really, you know, I, it, it gets irritating, but I, I would, would never bash any of you guys for your preference. Because that's what it is. It's a preference. It comes down to what you prefer. But yeah, I would never bash you guys for that. I just, I just like poking fun because every time I do a dub series, it's like, oh my god, why is it in dub? I can't stand it. And it's like, yes, I know. It's, it's in dub. I speak English, it's easier for me to comment while reading in English, or while watching in English versus reading in English, but hey, those are my preferences. So one of the things that I've been working on recently is actually a cover for the song uh, Again by Yui. It's actually the song that they used for the opening of Full Metal Alchemist. And um, so like when I do drum covers that actually have like guitar or some covers that are actually like they sound a lot cleaner than some of the others. I'm actually doing a lot of that digitally. Not digitally as in like making the computer play it for me, but actually um, playing it on an electric uh, kind of MIDI pad that I have to make it sound a little cleaner, make it sound a little more professional. But I'm trying to do more stuff with acoustic, uh, or not acoustic, but like actual playing guitar and things like that, making it sound a little more professional. And so this is actually one of the ones I'm working on right now. And uh, so far it's coming along pretty well. Um, I've only got the acoustic bits left and I'm trying to play it so I don't, you don't hear that like the sliding on the, on the uh, strings, but that's getting a lot harder. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm working on right now is trying to get this, get this correct. So yeah, if you want to watch, go for it. <laughs> 